Namaste, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to learn about a very important thing. Uh, this is something that is not originally from Vedic astrology, but it comes from Tantras. Tantra is misunderstood. People understand that Tantra is like, you know, related to black magic and other such things. That is not the reality. Tantra deals with functioning of anything, right? So, see, Tantra is like, you know, what is meditation, right? Tantra is practical meditation. How to do that meditation practically? So, Tantra is basically how things are done. mechanism for this particular reason even astrology is known as kala vidhan tantra now this thing that i am going to talk about today is sarvato bhadra chakra this comes from tantras to vedic astrology and the uses of this is very important you cannot imagine to make a prediction without using this. If you make a prediction without using Sarvato Badr Chakra, the prediction is bound to get failed. Any prediction that you make, you have to recheck using this Sarvato Badr Chakra, otherwise it will fail. This Sarvato Badr Chakra is useful in everything. It is useful in Prashna. It is useful in the natal chart. It is useful in setting up a Muhurta. It is useful in timing the event. It is used in everything. It is known as Trilokya Deepak. That means it lets you know about everything in the in this world in the heavens and in the neither worlds and it is told that the one who knows about this chakra for him there is nothing left to be known about just by knowing this chakra one knows everything today we will understand the basic framework of this chakra and we'll see how this basic framework helps us predicting. This is generally available in all major uh, computer softwares. I haven't seen this in mobile softwares, to be very honest. Right, but this is very basic. You will get it in every software. So let's continue. In Jagannath Ora software, you open the software, it looks like this. What you do, you go to this chakras screen and here you find many vargas, mix it to vargas, kal chakra and this saravato bhatra. You open it. Now there is a basic point in this saravato bhatra. There are 28 nakshatras written in this saravato bhatra chakra in an order that this is the order of the sun. So Ashwini, after Ashwini, Bharni, after Bharni, Kritika, after Kritika, Rohini, right? This is the South Indian format of counting Rashis and Nakshatras, indicating that the origin of this chakra must have happened somewhere around South India. That's not our point of debate. Now one Nakshatra will be influencing three other Nakshatras. One nakshatra in the frontal direction, one nakshatra in the backward direction, and one nakshatra in the forward direction. Let me simply understand it. See this photo. Suppose I am talking of Ashwini nakshatra. These boxes are your point of calculation, point of reference. From Ashwini Nakshatra, the Nakshatra that comes in front is Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Ashwini always impact Purva Falguni Nakshatra. You can just write it and it will be easy to use this chakra even without having the chakra in front. 
Ashwini always influences Purva Falguni. Purva Falguni always influences Ashwini. It is both ways. Now going in the see the chakra is going this direction to this direction. This is forward. And this is just opposite the chakra. This is backward. The forward direction, Ashwini, Ashwini to you, you to Rohini. The forward aspect of Ashwini is in Rohini. The backward aspect, Ashwini to CH, CH to PI, PI to AH, AH to SG. SG to Y and Y to Jeshtha. The backward aspect of Ashwini is in Jeshtha. The forward aspect of Ashwini is in Rohini. And the frontal aspect of Ashwini is in Purva Falguni. It is this simple to understand. Right now, we are only dealing about these nakshatras and how they behave and how they influence the prediction and how without analysis of this chakra, it becomes very difficult to analyze a horoscope. And if you try to analyze a horoscope without using this chakra, it will be a futile exercise to do so. Don't do things which are futile. Let's take an example. Let's take example of Steve Jobs. Now, when we look at the horoscope of Steve Jobs, there are a few money related combinations, but it is very difficult to find them. The normal money related combination, the connection between the second house, 11th house, though it is a Leo ascendant, so the second Lord and 11th Lord is the same plan. Right, the normal Dhan Yoga is the connection between Ascendant Lord, Second Lord, Eleventh Lord, Fifth Lord, and Ninth Lord. This is basic Dhan Yoga. There are many more Dhan Yogas as well, which have to be considered, but right now talking of only the basic one. Now, in this horoscope of Steve Jobs, Lagna Lord goes to Aquarius, and the second and the eleventh house Lord Mercury is situated in Capricorn they are having a 212 relationship. The fifth house lord goes to the 11th house Jupiter. This according to Parashar is a great Dhan Yoga capable of making one at least a millionaire. So this is applicable here. Okay, normal combinations have to be there. Right? But we have to see how Sarvato Bhadra makes it very easy. Unlike the popular opinion where people see these type of chakras and become confused and think that it will be difficult to read such chakras, this is not real. This is far from reality. The uses of these chakras and these tables are very simple and easy and their inclusion and the reason behind their popularity is because they make the process very simple. Now look at the horoscope, look at the Sarvato Badra Chakra for Steve Jobs. This is his Sarvato Badra Chakra. The second house and 11th house Lord Mercury is situated in uh, Shravana Nakshatra. You can see it here. This is a light color, I think. Yeah, Mercury is situated in Shravana Nakshatra right here. The forward aspect go to Kritika Nakshatra. This is empty. The backward Nakshatra goes, the backward aspect goes to the Nishta Nakshatra that is also empty. And the frontal aspect goes to Magha Nakshatra that is once again empty. All these three nakshatras are empty. 
the lagna lord is in satabisha the frontal aspect of it goes to swati the backward aspect goes to abhijit and the frontal aspect goes to pushya they are if there is a planet in these rashis where aspect is falling the two planets will be in a connection because there is no planet you have to see the rashis where these nakshatras are falling and the planet have a natural connection with these rashis born in leo ascendant madha nakshatra will fall in the ascendant of steve jobs the 11th lord mercury is aspecting the ascendant nakshatra magha creating a connection with of the second lord and 11th lord the ascendant making him rich the frontal aspect of mercury will go into kritika now kritika is both in taurus and kritika is also in ashwini sorry aries how to resolve it you see the pada of mercury mercury is situated in shravan fourth pada so his aspect will also go on kritika fourth pada the fourth pada of kritika falls into taurus that comes to the 10th house indicates earning of money through profession this is not earning of money through inheritance this is not earning of money through investment this is not earning of money through speculation the lord of the second house in 11th house connected to the 10th house earning of money directly through professional life right there are many sources in using which one can earn money the backward aspect of mercury goes on dhanishtha the nishta falls in capricorn itself that indicates to earn this money steve jobs have to struggle a lot recently steve wozniak who was uh, i think who was co working with steve jobs recently told that because steve was not uh a, not an engineer was not from a technical background he was always afraid that he will find no place in apple so he worked on his marketing skills to become the best marketer so that he remains relevant to the company clearly indicated through sarvato badrshak now let's take a few more examples let's take the horoscope of merlin mundro and try to see about her merit and life you see there is lagna lord situated in the 7th house 7th lord is exalted in the 4th house and this 7th lord who is exalted in the 4th house is getting influenced by venus jupiter and rahu aspect of venus 7th aspect of venus 9th aspect of jupiter and the 5th aspect of rahu now see 7th house is also having a benefic moon the 7th lord is also exalted in the sign of happiness do my students know that exaltation is not good for marriage but they are my students you know they know far far better and the seventh lord is having two good influence one bad influence is that one bad influence so detrimental that it gave her such a bad marital life the analysis becomes complex here my simple one word advice to all of my students is make a horoscope and first check sarvato bhadra chakra as i have told you making a prediction without sarvato bhadra chakra is futile sarvato bhadra chakra clearly easily directly openly shows you the result it is better to ignore the complete horoscope and just check sarvato bhadra chakra because it works on nakshatras you can also say this is a great secret of nakshatras and only those who don't know how to use this fully 
those foolish people may believe in ketu being the ruler of ashwini you cannot help them coming to my point my simple advice is first check sarvato bhadra chakra for the horoscope of marlin munro this is her sarvato bhadra chakra as you can see in front of your screen now the seventh lord is saturn situated in vishakha nakshatra from this vishakha nakshatra the frontal aspect of saturn goes to moon and jupiter two benefic planets the backward aspect goes on anuradha which falls in scorpio the fifth house and the forward aspect goes to kritika which falls in aries kritika and uh, saturn is in the third pada sorry saturn is in the third pada of kritika so it falls in taurus now you see this saturn is influencing moon and jupiter jupiter is a benefic planet but is the lord of the sixth house creating fights and struggle in her marital life moon is the lagna lord and taurus fall in the 11th house indicate multiple marriage see lagna is the lagna is you whatever is connected to lagna that thing happens again and again seven thousand seventh lord connected to lagna one cannot remain unmarried one cannot remain without companion they will have companion if their marriage break marriage will happen again multiple marriage combination if the marriage doesn't break it is okay same marriage continues 11th house also gives multiple marriage and anuradha nakshatra which falls in the 5th house is connected to saturn my students know that a connection of the 7th house and the 5th house is never good for marriage it gives either the person is not married or he is not having children or the children are anugarthi marital life is not good one is only satisfied this is how clearly it can be seen through the sarvato bhadra chakra in the horoscope of marlin munro this makes the process very very easy now let's try to see her professional life the 10th lord is mars in purva bhadra prad nakshatra frontal aspect will be in chitra where does chitra nakshatra come chitra nakshatra comes into one uh, yeah chitra nakshatra comes into libra right this mars is situated in the third pada of purva bhadra prad where will the third pada of chitra nakshatra come in libra the backward aspect of mars goes to uttarashada mars is in third pada the third pada of uttarashada four padas of mula four padas of purvashada and one pada of uttarashada into sagittarius it goes to capricorn and the frontal aspect of mars is going to rahu rahu indicate phenomenal success which she was professionally 
an idol in her field not for everyone mars aspects libra which is the fourth house indicating happiness and comforts in professional life uttarashada is in capricorn which is the seventh house which indicates name fame status and popularity in profession which she had simple analysis simple analysis now let's see how this is useful in prashna let's take an example chart related to prashna this is a prashna chart one of my student asked this to me she this is the sarvato badra chakra for the prashna chart lagna falls in purva phalgun this purva phalguni is having frontal aspect on ashwini backward aspect in pushya and the frontal aspect on abhijit nakshatra which is having saturn pushya falls in cancer ashwini falls in aries Aries is the ninth house of the horoscope. Ninth house indicate fortune. Generally, in such prashna, see prashna is related to what? Saturn is influencing the ascendant. Prashna is related to disease. In the case of disease, in such cases, ninth house indicates the responsibility. of doing a dharmic duty ninth house also indicate dharma and the influence of saturn is also on cancer that is the 12th house people may tell you 12th house indicate hospital god knows 12th house indicate loss generally in such cases it indicates nothing to worry okay nothing to worry now the ascendant is getting influenced by saturn it indicate prashna related to a disease it is also influencing aries which is in the ninth house the person is worried told me that sir i am diagnosed with this i had this problem i consulted a doctor and they are saying that it can probably be a cancer i have to get my daughter married what do you think what will happen the sense of responsibility comes aries ninth house right and i am afraid that if i die early if i die right now what will happen to my daughter so the contemplation of loss from the 12th house is already running on the going over the mind of the native now what i should do next i should check the sarvato badra of the lagna lord the lagna lord is sun situated in bharni nakshatra with mercury mercury is the lord of the third uh, sorry mercury is the lord of the second house of family and 11th house of fulfillment of wishes and desires frontal aspect is on magha forward aspect is on krutika and the backward aspect is on anuradha because sun is in third pada of bharani the part of krutika comes to taurus magha falls in leo and anuradha anuradha 
completely false in Scorpio. This Scorpio is the fourth house indicating happiness will be there. Leo is the Lagna indicating longevity is left and 11th house indicate fulfillment of wishes and desires. I told her, Madam, nothing to worry. Doctor have done a wrong analysis. You go to him after one week, get yourself checked again and there will be no issue as such. Why I can confidently say that using Sarvato Bhatt Chakra. She went to the doctor after one week and doctor told that we have misunderstood what it is. It is just a normal scar. There is nothing like cancer. The lady is hale and healthy living even today. This question is from two years back, I suppose. This is how you use Prashna. How you use Sarvato Bhatt Chakra and Prashna. Okay. Now there is one secret uses of Sarvato Bhadra Chakra. Not secret. Well known. But this is essential. This is useful. For everyone. There are many people who message me regarding this. How to earn money through Bitcoin stock market. I am not interested in such things. So I should answer it as good time to invest into anything. Good time to put your money and finances into anything. Okay. Muhurta aspect. This is what we call muhurta. Whenever I say Muhurta, it is useful for all such purposes. So if I say I will teach Muhurta, you join. Because Muhurta deals with all these topics, I don't like to explicitly mention it. For this, you have to see transit on Saravato Badri Chakra. Let's take an example. Suppose, and for this example, you have to remember there are two, there are three factors. Jupiter for year, sun for the month, and moon for the day. Remember, I have talked about three factors year, month, and day. Out of these three factors, two factors should be supportive. One factor supportive, you will have not a great loss. Either you will not have loss or not a great loss. One factor supportive. <clears throat> two factor supportive, you can get gains. Three factor supportive, oh, oh, oh. huge gains. Bulle, bulle. <clears throat> One negative factor, be careful. Two negative factor, be extremely careful. Three negative factor, don't do it. Have you gone mad? Okay. Okay. Suppose this is a horoscope. Uh, whose horoscope should we take? This example also. Okay. Sarvato Badr Chakra for the horoscope. Jupiter, Sun, and Moon, we have to check. Jupiter, remember that the person is a Virgo ascendant. Okay, you remember it is a Virgo ascendant. Virgo ascendant because ascendant is in Uttara Falguni also. But okay, Uttara, uh, Uttara Falguni falls in Leo as well as Virgo. Right now, Jupiter is in Purva Badraprad Nakshatra, PBHA. Check 
from Purva Bhadra Pradha Nakshatra. Where the aspect of Jupiter as per Saramato Bhadra is going. Right click here, highlight Vedas, aspects and Lattas. This makes the table. Purva Bhadra Prad, aspects Chitra, aspects Uttarashada, aspects Punaravasu. Because right now Jupiter is going through the third pada of Purva Bhadra Prad, third pada of Punaravasu will come into uh, will come into Gemini. Gemini is the tenth house. Okay. Third pada, third pada of Chitra. The third pada of Chitra falls into which rash? The third pada of Chitra falls into Libra. Another influence is on Libra, which is the second house for the native. And the backward aspect is going on Uttarashada, third pada of Uttarashada that will go into Capricorn, which is the fifth house for the native. Jupiter influencing all the good three houses, Jupiter, okay. Now, Sun right now is situated in Revati Pada 2. Revati influencing the ascendant, from Revati, he is influencing the Ascendant. He is influencing Mirgashira. Mirgashira Pada 2. Sir? Okay. Mirgashira Pada 2. Mirgashira Pada 2 falls in Taurus itself. So, influencing the ninth house. And the backward aspect goes on Mula, goes on Sagittarius, that is the fourth house. It is having Mars. Jupiter and Mars both. Jupiter is the seventh lord and the fourth house lord, whereas Mars is the eighth lord and third house lord. Now, out of these three aspects, Two of them are good. The Mars in Mula Nakshatra is bad, being the Lord of the 8th house and 3rd house. Good is indicated, but because Mars is the Lord of the 3rd house, some struggle and hardship have to be there, point one. And because Mars is the Lord of the 8th house, some loss of money will also happen. This loss of money will be less as compared to the gain of money, but okay. Loss will still be there. Two factors are good. So, until and unless Sun remains in Revati Pada 2 and Jupiter remains in Purva Bhadrabrat Pada 3, it is a good time for this native. Good time for this native influencing good houses. He can invest money or do any auspicious thing that he wants. Two factors are supportive. If you want very good to happen, you have to check moon as well. All the three factors supportive. Extremely auspicious. I told you the starting. Moon in Mirgashira Pada 4. Sorry. Moon in Mirgashira Pada 4. From Mirgashira Pada 4, Moon is influencing Revati Pada 4 that comes into the 7th house of the native. Influences Uttarashadha Pada 4 that comes into Capricorn, the 5th house of the native. And influences Chitra Pada 4 that comes into Libra, the 2nd house of the native. The transit of Moon 
is good the transit of jupiter is good and the transit of sun for this person because of five factors not three nakshatras and two planets sun was expecting through his transit right and out of these five factors mars was bad so you say it is uh, around 20% right so in the the transit right now as per sarvato bhadra is 20% bad 80% fit we have seen that the aspects are repeatedly influencing his seventh house and second house this time is good for everything person can do anything and it is specifically good for the matters related to the seventh house that is business marriage having a relationship and such things okay the time is extremely good for these matters up to when up to the time moon remains in mrigashira pada 4 sun remains in revati pada 2 and jupiter remains in purva bhadra prad pada 3 jupiter will remain in purva bhadra prad pada 3 and sun will remain in revati pada see jupiter will remain in purva bhadra prad pada 3 for quite a good time right approximately in 12 month jupiter crosses a rashi nine padas in 12 month so one pada into somewhere around 40 days jupiter will remain in the same nakshatra for 40 days sun will remain in the same nakshatra pada for almost 4 days and moon will remain in a same nakshatra pada for almost 7 hours using this table of good and bad transit of planets you can easily make a list of when you should invest your money in things such as stock market bitcoin etc and when you invest money or do things keeping in mind the sarvato bhadra chakra remember what the tantra says and what i told you in the starting that the one who knows about sarvato bhadra chakra this is known as sarva kalyana prad if you know sarvato bhadra chakra if you use sarvato bhadra chakra then all auspices all happiness all good result happen to you come to you right so you should use it every time you are going to do something it is very essential and very strong point one point number 2 if you don't use this chakra set muhurta otherwise that will be a problem and there can be hidden dangers that you may not know because you haven't used this chakra and there can be a problem how this chakra simplifies everything in the natal chart and in the prashna chart and clearly shows you the answer i have also illustrated in the examples of the horoscope there were no planet influencing the factors we judged so we saw how it influences the houses it is not only about planet it is about house also remember when through sarvato bhadra chakra two planets are making a connection same nakshatra pada doesn't matter whereas when you talk of house planet influencing a house through sarvato bhadra chakra the padas of the nakshatra occupied by the planet become very important sarvato bhadra chakra is so easy so simple so essential so much recommended that i tell to everyone that before looking at a horoscope create a horoscope leave the divan chart first analyze sarvato bhadra chakra it will make your process of analyzing the chart very easy and very simple this was an introductory video thank you for watching it i have a forthcoming course on sarvato bhadra chakra this course is known by the name of sarvato bhadra chakra itself that is a crash course of five classes starting from uh, next to next monday that is 18th of april 
and in this course i will be teaching you calculation of sarvato bhadra chakra is pretty simple calculation and application of sarvato bhadra chakra this i will teach this is simple to me task the uses of sarvato bhadra chakra to make next level prediction using nakshatras right when i say next level prediction it is predictions that you cannot see this is a glimpse try to understand it i have to teach a principle in course suppose the value of that principle is 200 rupees now what i will talk in a free video is equivalent to 2 rupees not also 20 rupees the course content is 200 rupees 20 rupees i cannot give for i will not give on a youtube video 2 rupees content i will so next level prediction using nakshatras how to make is the first point it will blow your mind if you come to the course and learn it there how to use sarvato bhadra chakra to rechecking the predictions that you have made and making it full proof so that the prediction doesn't fail one of it i have told right now but in the course i will give examples of those cases where the predictions must have gone wrong when you had believe when you have if you had believed the real chart and how sarvato bhadra chakra comes to your comes as a saving grace and when you should essentially use it how to use sarvato bhadra chakra for better chart analysis and prediction will be taught in depth how to use sarvato bhadra chakra in vastu how to use it in transit timing of events up to the accuracy of days and hours how to use sarvato bhadra chakra to suggest remedies how to use sarvato bhadra chakra in analyzing assessing and fixing a proper and auspicious muhurta right how sarvato bhadra chakra is used in tantric astrology and how the tantric practitioners use it to their benefit to have all the auspices success happiness achievement and contentment in life how to use sarvato bhadra chakra for match making how to use sarvato bhadra chakra in relationship strength and weakness analysis all these things will be taught very much in depth in the course must for all <clears throat> not to be missed under any situation if you are serious about learning astrology please make sure to join thank you for watching the video have a good day